Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a transition like this one in After Effects. So to get started you need to import the footage that you're going to use. It can be images or it can be videos and then you need to create a new composition. I'm using the HDTV 1080 preset and the duration of my composition is 5 seconds. So I'm going to call it main and then I'm going to create it and then I'm going to import my footage into the composition. So I want the transition to happen right here in the middle of the composition. I'm going to select the first image and press Ctrl Shift D to split it right there. And then I'm going to import the second one. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift D again to split it. And I'm going to delete the first part of it. So right now, as you can see, nothing happens. It just switches from one image to another. And this is the place where we want the transition to happen. So for this transition, we're going to use the displacement map effect, which comes built in with After Effects. But to do that, first, we need to create a displacement map. So we're going to create a new solid. It doesn't matter which color it is. And then we're going to apply a few effects to it. The first effect is going to be called fractal noise. I'm just going to drag it over. And the second effect is going to be called cell pattern. So to start, I'm going to disable cell pattern so that you can see what I'm doing. And first we need to play with the contrast. So we need to set it somewhere all the way up around 300. And the second thing that we need to do is we need to increase the scale to something like this. It's at 200. Now the next step is going to be enabling the cell pattern effect and setting the cell pattern to crystallize HQ. And right now if I set the disperse value back to zero, you can see that we get squares. Then let's increase the size to somewhere around maybe one, no, to somewhere around 150 like this. And if I zoom in, as you can see, we don't have any hard edges, we have these blurry edges and that's bad. That's not usable for what we're trying to achieve. And as you can see, if I increase the sharpness using this slider, it's a bit better, but it's still not as good as we want it to be. So the solution is just simply typing in the value manually. I'm going to type in 2500. And as you can see right now, we have these crispy smooth edges. Now the next step is going to be pre-composing this solid because After Effects and the displacement map effect is just going to see as a black solid. It's not going to see as these squares that we need for the displacement map to work. So we need to check move all attributes into the new composition and then just rename this and hit enter. Now the next step is going to be disabling the visibility of the displacement map and creating a new adjustment layer. Now, as you can see, this adjustment layer is colored the same as these two images. So I'm just going to change the label to red. You don't have to do that, but I just want to see what's happening more clearly. And then with the playhead right here, you can press shift and page up once and then twice because we need this to be 20 frames before the transition point then press Control shift d to split it and delete the first part. And now let's get back here and press Shift and page down twice, which will move us 20 frames forwards. Now I can delete this part of it again by splitting it, pressing Control shift d and then deleting this part. So one final step is going to be splitting the adjustment layer right here. And then we need to place it, the first part of it on top of the first image and the second part of it on top of the second image. So now let's get to the displacement map effect. So type in displacement map right here and here it is in the distort folder. Then apply it to the first adjustment layer and let's adjust the effect right away. We need to set this layer obviously to the first layer right here that we've created. And then let's set um, this both of these values to luminance and let's set the maximum horizontal and the maximum vertical displacement to zero. So now we can select this effect, press Ctrl C to copy it, and then we can paste it over to this adjustment layer as well. Now the next step is going to be creating keyframes for the maximum vertical displacement. 
and then we can select these two by clicking on the first one and then control clicking on the second one and press U to show these keyframes. Now let's go all the way back here and let's create another keyframe and then let's go out here and create a keyframe but on the second layer. Now right here at the very transition we want to set the value of the first keyframe to 150 and the value of the second keyframe to the opposite, which is going to be minus 150. And right now, if we preview this, you can see that we have something that doesn't really look good. Now, obviously, the first problem is these black parts, which we're going to fix by applying an effect called Repetile. Um, we need to apply it to the footage and not to the adjustment layer because if you do nothing's gonna happen So let's set tiling to unfold and let's expand it down by 150 and up by 150 Because that is the amount of movement that we have and now you can just do the same thing like we did with the previous effect just press ctrl C and then select the second image and press Control V. So right now that problem is fixed. But as you can see, this doesn't quite look as smooth as we want it to be. So to do that, to make it smoother and better looking, we're going to select all of these keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. And then we need to open the graph editor by clicking right here. And now right click and make sure that you're editing the speed graph. So click right here and drag the first handle, maybe to the half of the duration of the animation. Then do the same thing right here, like that. And now you can see these two points are the points where the animation is peaking. So set the playhead to the peak of the first animation, then close the graph editor, and based on the playhead, trim the first adjustment layer. I'm going to undo that because both of them were selected. Select just the first one and then trim it. Then move it all the way out here so that it matches the transition. And then we need to do the same thing for the second adjustment layer. Set the playhead to where the animation peaks. Get back here, trim it and move it back so that it matches the transition. And right now, if we preview this, you can see that we have a pretty nice transition going on. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.